So being a part of Science Fair, the movie, um, has been so different than what I expected. So at the beginning of the film, uh, we all kind of came in with the impression that it was a small project and that it was a passion piece. And now that it's gained so much notoriety, it almost feels like uh, those of us in the film have to represent um, science research and what it means and why it is so essential to a really broad audience. Um, but I, I've loved being a part of the film because it gives me an opportunity to um, share with people that being a scientist and being a student scientist doesn't mean that you have to fit a certain mold. Uh, you can be a completely eccentric individual, you can be whoever you want to be as a person and still be a student scientist. And I think that's incredible because it means anybody can wear that hat. So. Especially now that STEM is becoming so popular in schools and it's something that isn't looked frowned upon anymore. Uh, the importance of the science and technology and showing what science fairs are like, do you feel it's going to grow kids to become more into going into science fairs, being a part of it, really pushing their imagination and creativity? Right. Yeah, I, I think that's um, something that my school has done a really great job of. Um, there is a real community and culture of just cultivating STEM, using STEM to solve real world problems. And I really hope that that kind of model begins to spread, not just to other schools in the U.S., but other schools throughout the world, um, especially in countries where uh, women and girls are not encouraged to pursue STEM fields. Uh, that's really disappointing to me because in the household that I've grown up in with my parents, as well as in my school, that's never been a barrier. And it's, uh, it is really terrifying to think that that barrier still exists all over the world. Um, but like you said, trying to implement creativity and trying to implement free free thinking and free will with STEM is, I think, the way that we move forward. So, And I think that's where we need to change because I go to CES every year and we cover CES and we see very few women who are in the programming and in the engineering side. Huh? Do you think we'll see that change? In, what are you feeling for that and that changing in the future? I see it changing all the time. Um, but then again, I think that my... Um, I think I might be in a bubble. I think that the changes that I see, the positive changes, are kind of concentrated to a certain group of people who are already high achieving and who are already really progressive in the STEM sense. Um, and so I really would like to learn more about how changes can be made in places where right now um, there isn't a lot of progress. Well, thank you very much, and we're looking forward to the film. Thank you for watching Muse TV. If you like what you saw, make sure to click and subscribe, and don't forget to watch our other videos here.